The rain clouds with what? What are we making them with? We didn't use the lead one in the volcano. We didn't, right. And then what's that little, uh, what's that canister there next to the big glass of water? It's shaving cream. Shaving cream. Okay, Ed, so the first thing that we're going to have you do is take the shaving cream and I want you to spray it on top of the big glass of water. I do it. Oh, do you need help? Do you need help? Here, I can help you. I can help you. You're gonna tip the water. You're gonna tip the water. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, here, I'll do it. It's too hot. Let me help you. All right. So what we're doing here is we're forming a rain cloud. Okay, that's it. No, I gotta make it. Can I touch it? Um, no, because we need to make sure it turns white. There we go. Okay, so now that we have that, um, what you're gonna do now is take each of the food coloring and I want you to drop uh, food coloring corresponding to the cups that they're next to. So that one's gonna be red. And we did, uh, we baffled guys. We didn't use the red one in the volcano. We did. <laughs> Edge always has to make a point that for our very first experiment on this video, we didn't use the red food coloring and we used something different, even though we were supposed to use the red food coloring. Because Edge likes to remind people of those things. Okay, scientist Edge, good job. You have the blue. There we go. There, yeah, that's right. Swirl it around so it mixes. There we go. The blue, the red is not very well. No. You're right. And this turns like a little pinkish. Yeah. Why do you say that, Jaja? I don't know. Alright, so that one's gonna have yellow food coloring. Don't use all of it now. No, don't use all of it, because unless you want unless you wanna I used all of it. Okay. Bye bye. I just feel it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do the green one. Here we go, Bob. We got me. We don't want to use all of this. This is for our science experiment. Yeah, all right, that's good, that's good. All right, so now that you have four different colors of water, you're gonna take your uh, little dropper. We're gonna start with the red, so squeeze some into your- um, Like we did before. Yeah, in your dropper. Good amount, and then you're gonna squeeze it on top of the, the shaving cream. All right, squeeze Blue. a few more, and we're gonna zoom in just a little bit here. Okay. I'm getting some more blue. And look at that! Look at look at what's happening there. Oh. Look at that! Look at the look at the look at the colors going through the. Um, the shaving cream. It looks really pretty. So do you know what's causing that edge? So think of the shaving cream as rain clouds. So when rain clouds in the sky come in contact with into water. Like the other one that we did with James. Kind of, yeah. So it causes saturation, which causes the raindrops to form from the clouds. Go ahead and do a, a, a few more. Look at that. That looks really cool. It's <laughs> gonna get a what, zoom in effect again? here. It's okay if it makes this kind of. It's okay, yeah. Keep going. Let's get a few more drops in there. Let's get some of the red in. That looks cool. So what did we learn today, Scientist Edge, as you squirt the, the colored water into the cup? What did we learn? It's dropping, so what's causing it to drop? Saturation of the clouds. So the shaving cream is the si is the clouds. The colored. I like to touch it. It does. It does feel nice to touch. All right, time to say. Is there anything that you want to tell your audience before we end the video? Watching my video. I hope you like my necklace. I hope you like my birthday. That's on next March. Next March, which is next year, is your birthday. And I hope you like my eat and be on that plate.